It's Monday morning. I had to make a fairly early start before the builders arrived. Uh, we had uh, steady persistent rain right the way through yesterday afternoon and evening. Today is supposed to be a few showers and then rain coming back tomorrow. Uh, everything's soaking wet so oh, I've got some shopping to do. Well, I actually managed to find uh, some plumpsole white which is the whitest white. So all marine just down the road. I also have picked up my aluminium audio. Sanded, uh, can't do the stern and outboard edges, they're still wet. Sanded along here, and doors are sanded. Right, better go to work. The deck is slowly extending towards the house. Uh, we continue to have some very foggy mornings. Progress continues to be made. Uh, the skip at the top of the dryer has been emptied and they're starting to fill it up again. Well, I've decided that uh, I might as well do this uh, panel in the cockpit as well. well. I've tidied away the stuff there, but of course it's now all above and on the other side. I have a sand, quick fill, final sand on the bits here I couldn't get to because they were wet the other day, and then undercoat along there. Uh, first sand, a few uh, holes to fill uh, under the seat. There used to be some stays holding the seat posts, but they've been broken for donkeys. So we'll put polyester filler there. Of course, polyester filler dries very quickly, so we can sand it uh, soon. Done a little bit here as well, so let it dry. And then more glorious sanding. It's now ready for undercoat. Epoxy barrier undercoat again. And we have a nice old wooden kitch uh, where the floating workshop was. Gaff rigged, centre board, very nice. Undercoated. Spot undercoated. Friday lunchtime. Now there's a big uh, trimer end on the, the slipway, so we need to go back out and through the other gate, which is open. We had a uh, frosty morning. First actual frost this year. It's been uh, quite a abnormally warm winter. Uh, a strong southeaster now come up. Well, I think there's a good chance of getting a uh, first top coat on. Uh, not so good. The wind's blown over the remains of the undercoat. 
I managed to clean it up with the help of some thinners, so it should still be fine. Final sand has been done. I certainly wouldn't want to be the final coat in this weather, but we will get uh, the first of the two top coats on. Well, it's all uh, got one top coat on, and what seems like a gale at times. And here I can see a slight run, and I've also done the front of the front crossbeam. Door's done, and for the first time, pretty much used up all the paint, so no waste. It's managed to scrape enough off the bottom to get the bottom of the locker done. Well, it's mid afternoon, it's now time for lunch. Well, I've babysat it and uh, the other one's down a bit. I've adjusted the covers so hopefully the dew will stay off it and we'll keep our gloss and even more hopefully tomorrow we'll be good enough to get the second and final top coat on. Look, the main bit of the deck is done. Now there's the timber for the handrails. So here, which is my pot plant area. We can't turn the deck because that would be a change in design, but we'll do some replacements here as well. And they'll be starting along here next week, I assume. Well, we had another heavy dew overnight, the covers have managed to keep it off the paint, so we still have gloss. Time to mix up some more top coat. Oh, morning tea. And, uh, yeah, I've got the paint uh, warming up. Well, let's make a start. Well, this bit was certainly hit by the uh, dew. Hopefully, it will go off today before that happens.
Now the doors. I hate painting louvers. That's all done. <laughs> Had a couple of uh, spits of rain and thus a couple of drops. There's no point hanging around watching paint dry. So we'll go home. Let Grandad see the deck. This is where my palms and citrus and pots were. So it needs to be replaced. Skinny pussy, aren't you? So Misty's happy because she can come out her cat door again. Sasha's not happy because she can't come out. <laughs> can't come out. <laughs> it's Sunday after three losses in a row. The All Blacks have won, thank goodness. So it's a bit of a later start to the day. Uh, some water from the dew but we still have our gloss yeah. and we have our gloss here thank goodness Well, not that glossy here, but it doesn't really matter because I can't see it. A oh, bit easier to get these doors in. So they worked after a fashion. Oh, well, turn it properly will help. There we go, fishing gear. Well, I'm trying to lift the hose up on here, which is the through hole fitting from the sink. Yes, we haven't quite enough length inside uh, to go on the sink and stay there because Grandad knocked it off when he was cleaning. Thus, it's probably going to come off again. Nothing's easy to get to because it's right on the stern side of the steering ram. These are the spare uh, primary water cooling impellers. Spears, spear anodes for the sail drive. This is the salt water wash down pump, and ideally, I need to take a T off it to take up the front for the anchor wash down. Well, while I'm here, I might as well just check the coolant, and its level's fine. We have the new flexible hose attached, which is salt water, and managed to get a little bit more length on the drain hose. I've put a cover over the starboard side because we're going to take out the front clears to remake them. So the clears are not that clear anymore, and these zip up ones need to be replaced. Oh, we need to remove this uh, same one on the port side. Well, that will be the next project.